Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today, we're going to go over application and a little bit of an update on Blue Collar One. This is our three to five year polysilazane coating. Um, so, often asked uh, how polysilazane is compared to SiO2 or the original metal oxide coating that we offered. SI3N4 has a nitrogen backbone um, on the rungs of a ladder. Uh, SI3N4 would be a half rung up uh, the next step on the ladder when it comes to durability. It has a higher temperature and higher abrasion threshold. It's a little bit of a tougher coating. Application's easy, and I'll show you here on this new Bronco. If you are seasoned in applying coatings, no need to do a crosshatch pattern. Just apply it in straight lines and wipe it off. This is what it'll look like. Um, it has a little bit of a sweating and uh, rainbow effect to it. I'm going to show you in first person application in a few short seconds here. But um, no need to wait to wipe it off. Work a 3x3 three three or a 4x4 four four section. No need to worry if you're um, interrupted by something or somebody. Uh, a customer will often come in or a phone call comes in and I have to attend to it. I'm not going to rush. I'm going to come right back and it's just as easy to wipe off. This coating is great for mobile detailers because you can apply it in direct sunlight. And I'll try to remember to put a link up at the top of the video here uh, of a video I have applying it in direct sunlight. Very easy to use, user friendly, also uh, friendly to your wallet, cost effective, very economical. Here is a first person view of application. No need to rush yourself, be methodical, applying the product, make sure you apply a nice even coat. It's a one layer, three to five year system. But if you are unsure of yourself and you are not 100% sure you have even coverage, a second layer will ensure the even coverage. But for the most part, a second layer with a one layer system, it will only start to reject itself where you have the coating, if that makes sense. I always have two microfiber towels within arm's reach. The first one will come in and mop up most of the transfer solution. The second one comes in and yes, buffs to perfection. There should be no haziness, no streaking, no high spots to worry about with the coating. It's easy to use. Um, something to note on softer clear coats, uh, absorbent clear coats, and single stage where it's also porous and absorbent. Uh, it may look blotchy where it needs a second coat only because the material wicks in the coating very quickly. Uh, that's the only time you may have something that looks a little off. A second coat fills in everything and takes care of it. Move on. This Bronco here probably has a dozen different types of materials, and you can absolutely coat every one of them, except for rubber tires. The cowl here for the wipers is a textured plastic material with rubber uh, lining the outside, and we have the wipers in the middle here that are metal, of course. Coat absolutely everything. Take your time, get in there, and coat every square inch. The coating can also be used on satin, vinyl, or wraps. As you see here, it doesn't make them glossy, but it does make them darker and richer. Continue on, take your time. This cowl extends all the way to the mirrors on each side, and we coat everything. Also, powder-coated metals, such as this little piece here, 
we coat them and also the attachment screws, headlights, parking lights, plastic trim like this textured bezel that turns into the grill all the way across gets coated. The grill guard, as well as the bumper it's attached to, has a heavily textured layer that gets coated as well. You can coat any emblems or badges. These plastic fender flares, which are heavily textured, they are a must. The sun really beats up on them. UVA, UVB damage, IR, can turn them a light gray, chalky, oxidized piece of plastic very quickly. Coat flat, smooth plastic pieces as well. And this includes B pillars and C pillars that can also be made of plastics such as these. The roof, roof rack. Uh, the rack is a bits of plastic and metal that are powder coated. The roof is a fiberglass uh, mixed with other materials and that's also heavily textured. Coat those layers as well. Any type of running board, whether it's textured or smooth, plastic or metal. Door handles or any type of trim. Headlights, taillights, parking lights may help with oxidation of those plastics. Coat them.
And of course, wheels. In this case, all five of them, including the spare. Wheels, wheel wells, calipers, protect and coat them. In no time at all, your vehicle will be protected. We have it backed outside to breathe a little bit. It will cure within four hours. You can top it, send it on its way. No need to let it sit overnight, 12 hours or 24 hours. Those days are in the past. The shop manager is pleased. She's happy we have this one protected. We can prep the next one and bring it inside and get back to work. After the first four hours, top it with BC3 so they can guard it while it cures the next few days to 100%. So at this point, it's cured to 85%. It can get wet. You can rinse it. You just can't wash it with shampoo. After the fifth day, go back to normal. Let's check on the car that's been coated with this. We are now at 10 months. This was the auction vehicle. I probably have a video on this one as well. It's dirty. It doesn't get washed uh, a whole lot. So even with a lot of the contaminants on it, still looks fantastic and is protecting like crazy. We do have the line down here where the coating can get clogged with different types of contaminants, hard water, traffic film. This happens to be traffic film, anything that can and will mix together that leaks from an automobile, mixes with everything else on the street, and then splashes up onto your vehicle by your own tires. Let's get back to this flat spot here. The coating's clogged, and there are many ways to go about it. I'm just going to use a pH neutral shampoo. This is Apex Auto Wash. If this doesn't cut it and you have heavy contamination, you can use the uh, Auto Foam from, from Built Hammer, and you can also use Car Pro Descale for even harsher contamination and clogging of the coating. In this case, I believe this should do the trick. Let's rinse off the uh, shampoo, the foam from the shampoo, and it will go right back to normal. That should answer some questions on one of the easiest coatings out there available to apply. If you haven't tried it yet, what are you waiting for? Very user friendly with excellent results and you have me standing behind it as well. Cheers guys, catch you in the next video.